ESPN.com alongside UFC President Dana White. UFC Fight Night 50 in the books. Jacare Souza avenging another loss from him, beating Gegard Mousasi by third round submission. What did you think of his performance tonight? He looked fantastic tonight. You know I'm a big Mousasi fan and uh, shut him down on the feet and uh, took him down at will. You know, had some submission attempts and he looked fantastic tonight. Seven straight wins for Jacare. And you said earlier in the week that a win may not have put him in place to face the winner of Weidman Belford. What are your thoughts now? Here's the thing. You know, people are saying, is he next? Is he the next? The, the, the fight, the, the championship fight's three months away. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen in that fight. Somebody could get injured, how long it would take. So we got to, uh, you know, he, he will probably fight again before, uh, before getting a shot at the title. Also on the card, a pair of big heavyweight first-round knockouts. First off, Ben Rothwell taking out Alistair Overeem in the first round. Were you surprised by that one? Well, very nothing surprises me in MMA. But what what's, did impress me is that Ben got kicked in the arm and his, got his arm broke and knocked Alistair out with a broken arm. That impresses me. What do you think could be next for him as he's moving forward, working his way up into the upper ranks of the heavyweight division? I think that... Uh, you know, he, 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 looked, uh, he looked fantastic tonight. Unfortunately, another injury. So we got we to gotta wait for this broken arm to heal, and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. Matt Matrione was supposed to fight at UFC 175. Two months later, comes back, defeats Derek Lewis in quick work. Were you impressed by what he did tonight? I was because Lewis is a scary individual, man, and, and uh, he called him out, and, and Mitch, I didn't see that coming. I'll, I'll admit it. I didn't see that one coming. But anything's possible in this sport, and uh, Mitch Rion looked look damn good tonight. Joe Lozon came into tonight's fight tied with Anderson Silva for the most fight night bonuses of all time with 12. Did he surpass Silva? Yes, he did. He, he, he won fight of the night. Um, he looked unbelievable tonight. That was a great fight by both guys. You know, in Vegas, this fight probably wouldn't have been stopped. It probably would have been uh, – they would have let it continue. But – on the flip side, that was a pretty nasty gash. I mean, his literally his eyebrow was hanging down, so you can't really complain too much about it. This is the UFC's first trip into into Connecticut in nine years. Now, with mixed martial arts still not being regulated in New York, could you see more events happening in New, in Connecticut to attract more of those New York fans over here? Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're going everywhere. We're going to go to Boston. I mean, we're going to go to Jersey just like we always do. Um, you know, we'll just keep, you know, cruising around until we get New York done. That's UFC President Dana White. Thanks for the time. Thank you.